Hello everybody, Sage in here. So uh, today I wanted to talk to you about a, um, a meeting that I had with my local church leader. So I know there's been a lot of uh, division. Uh, there's a lot of division between uh, conservatives and liberals and uh, just uh, concerning the American election right now too. And um, I was uh, really wondering uh, what to do about it uh, when I first um, really started to voice how I supported President Trump. Um, I, I guess I didn't really expect so much uh, uh, people coming from my own church to oppo be opposed to uh, what I what I believed. I mean, um, I was kind of expecting people that were outside of the church, non-church members, to be kind of um, criticizing me, and I I could understand that. But I'm finding that there's a lot of um, people that uh, don't support President Trump, and um, yeah, I was I was pretty surprised. Like I I didn't realize that there were so many people that are liberal in. Uh, the Unification Church, and uh, it's kind of crazy how it's very divided. It's ironic, even though we're a Unification Church, we're so divided in that sense. But um, uh, really, I do feel that the um, this this struggle between uh, conservatives and liberals it really is like um, like sibling rival sibling rivalry, like brother against brother. Um, we we are all Americans, and but just uh, still we don't get along we kind of bump heads sometimes and um, just both sides have really good points and but of course neither side is perfect and um, that's really similar I've, I've done a video about this before about how uh, the two sides are like uh, like Cain and Abel in the Bible uh, really we, we need both sides in order to go to God and um it's i really felt that uh, in order to really create unity it's important to go back to the parents and um just uh, i was i was struggling a lot like uh, i was wondering why is there so much division and what can we do about this and uh, so i decided that um probably the best thing would be for me to really try to make effort to go to the parent parental like a parental figure so uh, in my church we use the term like going vertically so vertically is kind of someone who is uh, maybe ab above above you uh, or kind of maybe closer to God if you would if you would say and um, so in my mind so there's there's God heavenly parent and then there's true parents and then there's the church leadership and then um, if we keep on going down then there's the church leader and then there's us regular members so I thought that um, um, rather if, so the relationship that uh, we have amongst members is just kind of the horizontal relationship so I decided that I want to try to take this vertically so that I could even though it may not be going directly to to God or true parents it's kind of going in that direction. So I felt that that way maybe God can work uh, uh, with that as a condition. So that's why I went to talk to the church leader and uh, I, uh, I, I felt that uh, what he told me was it kind of helped me to center myself a little bit more and um, I thought I wanted to show, uh, share that with you. So um, basically uh, he, he did say a lot of things but... Uh, uh, I'm probably I'm going to kind of um, water it down. I mean, like just shorten it, uh, not watered down, but um, and uh, so it's it's not like I'm going to be telling you uh, word from wor word for word what he said, but just what I remembered and what really um, sank into me. Uh, so uh, I hope that you can find it helpful too. So basically, he was saying that um, whether. Uh, like President Trump or uh, Joe Biden were to uh, become, well, 
would win the election it doesn't really mean uh, like um, all hope is not lost and um, there's always something that we can do um, let's see I guess um, so of course I'm I'm more of a conservative so I might kind of sound um, well more conservative when I voice my opinion but so it, even if President Trump is uh, re-elected um, and um, I guess that that's what I'm supporting but uh, uh, it doesn't mean that everything will be all right necessarily um, we can't just say oh, okay everything's okay we're going to just relax we can't do that um, if really um, President Trump's side if they cling too strongly to like the Christian uh, belief and fail to accept true parents then um, in the end uh, that won't really be good for the the country and um, I think that was one of the um, the failures that uh, President uh, former President George Bush uh, George W. Bush had. Uh, I remember that um, also true, true father did advise him or like uh, said that he shouldn't go into Iraq but because it'll complicate things that's just what I heard and but then you know the Iraq war happened so there was kind of a um, just the reason there was also kind of a mistakes on President Bush's behalf too and uh, that it didn't work out so well and then uh, kind of because of that because President Bush was unsuccessful or failed in that aspect that's why Obama came came about um, and um, just uh, that was kind of the reason that just uh, China became so powerful and all just President Obama uh, well former President Obama stance was like okay we're not going to be America's not going to be the um, the police of the world anymore just just do what you do and then he just let everything kind of let go so that's uh, and I don't feel that he did a very good job there and uh, um, so and of course he was not very God-centered I believe and uh so that's kind of another reason why how President Trump came about. Uh, probably if uh, Obama, former President Obama, didn't come about, then probably we didn't have President Trump. Uh, someone like President Trump would have would not have become president. He was also saying, and I, I guess so. Mm -hmm. But um, <clears throat> anyway, so even if President Trump uh, is reelected, we can't just relax and then even if um so joe biden does become the president uh still all hope is not lost really um maybe if uh, secular humanism really goes rampant rampant then uh um if like a really god-centered people uh really not just preach their faith but really live their live what they believe in and then if we um, can show the world the goodness of what we believe in just if we can continue to be good people naturally like people would see that and want to even if like they can do whatever they want they realize that that's not really um, the, that that isn't that won't make lead to their everlasting happiness and then it might come back to to kind of believing in God more and kind of having God-centered values more or just might understand us more, I guess, uh, just what we believe in more or accept true parents more. That's the, the biggest uh, important, that's the most important thing, I believe. And um, I did, <clears throat> excuse me, I did uh, express my concerns of how uh, Kamala Harris, if um, she goes to the White House, then that's... Um, I mean, she's basically a total communist, is my understanding, and um, well, pretty much anyway. Maybe not total, but uh, really getting really close to that. And uh, I was really concerned if somebody like that were to be in office, then uh, 
we might have a uh, America could become a communist nation and um, because I don't think uh, Joe Biden can really um, fulfill um, his terms and then most likely uh, sh so Kamala Harris will become uh, the president in his stead if that happened and uh, I expressed that to him but he says that um, it's not really the first time that a really um, someone that's very close to communist have has become uh, has held a, an, a position of power in the United States uh, uh, President Obama I hear was basically a communist um, maybe uh, he he did kind of wear this wear the the skin of a, a Christian he, like well like on the on the surface he may appear a Christian like he did go to church but still inside was pretty much his ideas were communist uh, leaning and then also the church that he went there uh, I heard that it's very leaning toward uh, communism so uh, yeah so basically we did kind of already have something really close or pretty much a communist president so um, we've lived through Obama so it's we probably can survive uh, that as well so I really felt, uh, and the most important thing is that um, we really, uh, as uh, I guess as a church member, uh, in the, as a unificationist, it's important to really um, witness and uh, really tell people about your parents and uh, really to connect. That's the most important thing. So whoever, whoever is uh, elected, uh, who was ever inaugurated into the office next in, as a president next year? It doesn't really matter. It, it our mission will continue to be the same. That's why we we need to really um, strengthen the uh, Christianity through ACLC. That's what um, Reverend Dunkley was saying. He while he was the uh, U.S. president of our church, and then also um, it's important the unification of North and South Korea, the peaceful unification centering on God is really centering on God is very important too. So as long as we're, we have that in mind, I think it's like the election is not over. I mean, like it, the election is not the end and then things will, we can keep on. Um, yeah. So the election is not the end and then we still have hope no matter what. And uh, let me see. Yeah, and he was saying that uh, yeah, it's not uh, like we don't really have time to fight each other and uh, we really have to, you know, so we really have to really strength, strengthen our witnessing efforts. We really need to connect as many people as we can to God and true parents. That's the most important thing. So, um, yeah, that kind of really helped me center myself. Um, he also said that he can understand why a lot of people don't like President Trump because he really, um, he's not a politician really um he <clears throat> he says what he he feels like and it's really like very can divide people sometimes and sometimes people can uh people really don't like that and uh yeah i can i can understand that too so um yeah i guess in the end just uh, the conclusion that i uh was that came that i came so the conclusion that I reached was that it's really important to keep true parents in the picture, um, to always um, remember true parents and really to witness to people. Uh, I have to really do that more. And uh, but um, so I but still I feel that um, we really do need to stand. This is my own my own kind of um, feeling that I had but I really I feel that I need to stand up for what I believe in and uh, that's really supporting President Trump and really conservative values and uh, um, because I mean if we look at true father uh, he didn't go into North Korea and say like oh, okay communism is wonderful and we can um, I, I love your ideology, you know, like I, I said uh, all those things against communism, but forget that and then let's unite. He didn't, that wasn't his, what he did. He went in there and then completely said, okay, communism is wrong, Juche ideology is bogus, 
and you have to you know with basically like without god you cannot bring unification of north and south you know you need to accept god you know he said that in a communist nation that he was risking his life to do that and he was so he's very strong he um he didn't back down and um in the end just uh president kim il sung said it was just impressed by that actually and then so true father really um was strong on what we believed in and uh his position and so he was very he had he was, he was very strong but still he was able to create unity with somebody that uh was trying to kill him was many many times before so i think that that's kind of the case here too um i will really i feel that i really need to just uh keep on um putting out what i believe and um i think that uh, i have to stay stand strong what i i believe in of course i'm i may not be able to um ex- express everything perfectly or i can debate perfectly uh i just have a gd and uh um I, my english is pretty good but i mean it's nowhere near people that have lived uh, all their lives in the us and um but i do have gut feeling and um i'm not wrong about anything everything i'm sure i'm 100% sure about that and um yeah just uh, i will continue to stand strong in what i believe in but i will also in my heart remember that it's important to keep god and true parents in there never forget that so i felt that uh, before i talked with my church leader my um the attitude was oh my god like what happens with if um let's see this this election felt like the end of the world if like uh, um whatever happened here like the world might end or something like that but just talking to him i felt i was able to calm down more that just to kind of remind myself that the election isn't over is isn't the end and then you know there's still work to do afterwards we need to and you know god and true parents are still there um in the world and uh there's a vic- the foundation of victory already laid i feel that true parents have done many many things uh in order to make this world good and then that's something that no one can take away and um just um so i think that that was the um conclusion that I was able to reach within me so i hope that you found that helpful and uh uh yeah i think that's it for tonight for now okay thank you very much for watching god bless and take care